stuff like this. I'm I'm really happy for Cloud9 that their draft in the previous game worked out because they've had so many like they theory craft really hard as a right. team. And sometimes it just goes horribly wrong after. Okay. Yep. So yeah, I wasn't seeing things that weren't there or the other way around. <laughs> Oh, um, talking about the gank in middle already. Misery is coming in from behind. They're going to be able to land the stun, follow up Split Earth, and Ferrari, this should be our first blood. It's the lightning and the last right click of Misery. And boy, the crowd, you can hear the Cloud9 fans roar at that one. This is a really big problem. Zero against the Lesh, who's 5-1 and one and has the kill advantage, so he's level 3 against the level 2 and half. Oh, here's the turnaround. Big Daddy, nice dodge, and then a life strike already. That was a beauty, but can Big Daddy actually get himself away? He puts himself in the trees, but there's no real escape from there. So he will end up going down, but still, it's Cloud9 who pick up that first blood and establish dominance for Fada and Mid. Aggressive trial lane, but probably Tron will have to either get a TP or just flat out start playing in the mid lane. That's Misery again, looking for the charge. They're going to get the follow-up stun as well. Ferrari's in a lot of trouble. But they don't have any mana on Fada. They may not be able to finish well. The last right click isn't quite enough, and now Ferrari's actually healing up. Misery is taking his all hell, but he's not going to be able to finish off Ferrari. One race, two race, Ferrari's brought low. Now the Telkin is the does go down, but it could be a double. Both seven running himself away. No tower aggro, so he is out. Ferrari with the turnaround there. Thought he could actually get off the double race. Meanwhile, at the same time, top lane, Luo ends up taking out the Visage as they leave that top lane with the fury on it exposes that one support so ig out right as chuan probably would have scouted out that tree hiding spot so he does get himself back to base and will try and wait for the push in from ig but they seem to be controlling lane middle ferrari's gonna go down yet again uh, these ganks just keep on happening big daddy is gonna be in slight trouble but ig without the tombstone drops preemptively paired up with another support like big daddy who's gonna show himself here in this middle lane it can be quick kills but we can't forget this is coming at the cost of eternal envy's farm now he is being pushed back once again oh eternal envy he puts himself in the trees tombstone gets laid out and faith just hoping to be able to survive just one day he does manage to finish him off the soul rub gets him meanwhile the stun though goes on to burning as well as faith trapped in the trees from both sevens and teleport in they lose eternal envy but he wasn't getting farm anyway fada picks up another two kills definitely worth it the supports as well as even Luo trying to help out this middle lane. They're going to grab Fada. Here comes the Sonic right from behind. They actually take out Fada as well as Big Daddy instantly. Misery's now trying to get out. Slow down. Chuan even has a double damage to assist to this one. Races are coming back up from Ferrari as well. Hits one. And the tick. Well, no. Chuan takes a triple kill actually for Luo. As that gank. Critical success there for IG to try and turn around what was a bad mech BKB. Which are both uh, a soft counter as well as a hard counter to Orchid. Oh, Chuan's going to be picked up. Up here, uh, stunned up, split earth, and quickly burst it down. That's the power of Aleshrak right there, who now rotates into the jungle. Even when when Lena has a Yules, he probably can't solo for her, but until that point, he might hit the Orchid before the Yules, unless burning. What does he have on the courier right now? Does he have any of the components? Body in. There's already a tombstone laid out, but it's worth it if they can burst down burning, but it's not quite enough. The soul rip keeps him alive, and he turns around to look at him play. Big Daddy falls in well. Misery's gonna come through. Choo Choo, Light Strike already. He actually hits Misery, and Bernie's gonna survive. He gets away, and Misery falls. Double kill for Ferrari, and a third pickup for the side of IG as they now march into that tier one tower. Yeah, that looked like it could be a good opening for Cloud9. Net worth of Ferrari, and that's going to get even worse as they start pushing for more towers and potentially more kills. Misery does get caught by the telekinesis. Double races from Ferrari. Able to stop that Spirit Breaker, who can be such a heavy counter to a Queen of Pain now. Eternal Envy. May's going to be in some serious trouble here. There goes one Yules. Light Strike Array, and they do have the Laguna Blade, which will they will throw at Eternal Envy. No mercy, E.E. Sama. Famous for those words, but at the very least, uh, and, well, Luo might have found himself a Yule setup. Yeah, and there's the TP's out from Cloud Knight as well. They're not trying to save Big Daddy whatsoever. Burning now on a killing spree. And Envy's dead. Yes, he certainly has a rotation around. Telkinesis, Light Strike Array, and <laughs> Burning! I think he's trying to make a statement here. Can you know, it's got to be the Midas. I think Cloud9 yeah. realized they're behind. They have to try to make Spirit Breaker a core in this game and try to play for later. The good news is their lineup is actually decent at split pushing. Look at the TP out around. Oh, from Ferrari behind. is screwed in this top lane. This should be a pretty easy kill. Gets the mech off. It's not enough. Beautiful. Three man game. That's the Midas. Oh, there goes a Yule Scepter trying to pierce down Bone 7. Ooh, that Spear Breaker barely gets away. Home to his Midas. But it's still a trade off. Yes, they lost the SF, but get the. Uh, the Actually, not sure. 
would be a... He could go another Scythe of Vines. Necro <laughs> Alright, I'll stay on. Do you think it's too late for an Aghanim? Oh, IG. He's actually managed to get to the Yule Scepter onto Misery, but they're just trying to back themselves away ahead oh, of those birds. Oh, yeah, Super Luo snares with it on that one. Faith is going to be brought low by the Orca, but not quite low enough. He turns around, gets off the Tombstone, but Luo has been hit by the Split Earth and will end up going down. There's a buyback here for Bernie, and they're going to try and take this fight inside their own jungle. The ultimate goes out from Ferrari, instantly blowing up Big Daddy. Burning also coming in with the Yule Scepter, catching Eternal Envy, and this will be a successful buyback, it seems, by being able to get the pick off on Eternal Envy, turning the fight to IG's favor, but it did cost them a pretty penny. Still think that's... Oh, that's actually a net loss for them. Game, but Cloud9 are, are getting some good farm on other heroes than the Razor as... Yeah. Uh, that this time around, Fada will not escape. Oh, Kira has released that's where I'm presuming this Hyperstone goes to. Oh, and they could be in trouble here. Ferrari does not get the opening, but it's... Oh, he lets it go. Oh, but Fada immediately turns on to BKB ahead of the side device, but he's still going to be right click down. He is able to get off the Bloodstone Deny at the very least, but that now puts him down to four charges. Players that can fly behind the drop, and even the charge from Spirit Breaker could be a threat here. They're doing their very best to force this buyback from Fasa, who really does not want to use it. And now he has to no-tail go. Jesus, but that's the ultimate. A misery coming in with the charge. It seems like with those double ultimates used, there's no way IG can really fight once the last rack is up, despite a four versus five advantage. But at the very least, they'll get this tier three tower. And are they going to make the full committal for this melee rack? Cloud9 needs to try and come in defense soon. Ferrari, sure enough, he's going to be start forward. Back misery gets the lock down on the burning, trying to eliminate him first. But where's the follow up damage? Fauna runs right through. Rainbow Pony coming through. Managed to take out one, two. And now going over for third, third on Ferrari, who's sprouted up, trying to right click down. Uh, Turtle Levy gets. Managed to get off the cheese, but it's still not enough. He ends up going down. Now Misery gonna be the next target. IG have lost three and they just lose a fourth. But Misery, there's their turnaround. Bone seven coming in with another sprout. TP out fade. The drop down from the familiars isn't there, and the blink away from Chuan is out. IG managed to keep their two supports alive. But a huge win for Cloud9 is IG overstayed their welcome. That they, if they get a really big pickoff here, this could be them going all the way uphill. And they've already tried a Ferrari. He's not going to expect this one. Hit from the trees. Locked down. There's the device. But he managed to throw out a glimmer. Can't be able to survive. But Colonel Andy only goes down to the pure damage by himself. The right click will end up finishing off. Lua fighting up against Hill, but he will go down. Ferrari gets off that ultimate. But Fada's now run out of the BKB. This leaves Party. Able to be able to right click him down. And also catch from Misery. No, the charge right through. He gets away. Luo unable to catch him. And Misery, what a beautiful escape. Still a two for nil there. They didn't even get Luo. It looked like he was going to drop, but he managed to use, I think he had a 17 charge wand and just blinked out. Oh, uh, it's, I, it's I can see where your college that, degree went you, into. You know, thank you very much. But it's a bit different than that. Burning. Well, well, yeah. Here's a little bit of battle for you. IG, five, minus one, equals four. Can he still win this fight? IG, the pop the BKB. Ferrari's going to try and right click down Eternal Envy. Get it off the ultimate. Misery's just not getting lucky with those bashes. Eternal Envy will fall, but first he gets the Rubik. Luo, looking for it, does manage to lock him down, the Ferrari also getting hit by the Slurred Earth, and Luo even getting sent to buy stuff, that's three down from IG, plus two buybacks, they're going to be able to play defense here, but a big win for Cloud9. Did they buy back two there? I believe that, yeah, that was a buyback on Burning. He died oh, yeah. he, he died first in the There were two buybacks on cooldown on IG. So that's the kind of situation where you can try to go for a high ground force. And if you make the play, you would just flat out win the game. Now instead, oh, the ball is in IG's court. So try to make a play now that it's... Oh, they get the target. They're going to try to change oh, oh, he's gone. Misery charges right through all of them with the BKB popped. Rest of IG looking to be able to pursue him. He pops the Lotus Orb, but he's not going anywhere. The right clicks cannot be reflected, my friend friend two heroes down and sure enough IG who here are looking at this game and going okay they are only on the receiving end and IG lose nothing IG looking for more here they're gonna be able to find phone seven another big pickoff right as the last rack is coming back he does have a buyback though Ferrari Ooh, he's sitting very far forward here scouting a lot a lot of heroes unfortunately IG those blink daggers were just coming off cooldown I was looking to burn um, a big item here maybe an uh oh or maybe no damn item at all. Almost get Vata again, but this sprout is going to give it away. The flying vision of this should be enough to give Cloud9 all the info they need. Are they going to back up? Oh, no! The they're going to lock down two. One, two, out. Cloud9. They have buybacks on both, but IG have now put themselves in a great position to be able to go uphill through bottom lane. 
this has to be a buyback force out for IG. They have yeah. their buybacks themselves if the fight goes running within the next few minutes. And if they get full map control and just play the high ground inside the dire, or sorry, inside the radiant jungle, this is be able to put the pressure. He's basically just killing himself to buy time. Buyback too late from Fata. He doesn't even have one himself. They've got 20 seconds left still on the uh, the Vintage, but he doesn't have his ultimate, so really what good is that going to do? The miscommunication. Maybe they just have to give this up. To oh, good news for Cloud9. This feels like a fight that they simply cannot win. Tier 3 tower slowly but surely. Dead for enough to talk to Ethan. It's two with a sonic wave. Both are going to be the next part. And he goes down as well. They have buybacks, but the rest are going to fall anyway. IG just right clicking down real quick. We have the first TP in. Big Daddy trying to slow them down. Cloud9 has to catch him. But Big Daddy already getting blown up by the Lagoon Blade. For already pops his knee to the beans. He's now turns on a beta. Gets off that ultimate, forcing back the rest of Cloud9. Eternal Levy sealing away his damage, wanting to be able to target these heroes. Lua actually gets hit by the orc and it will be blown up. He goes down but buys the SF time to get out. The rest of IG on retreat. Faith may be caught here. He's he doesn't have any escape. He's got two gems. Oh Jesus. Glimmer Cape. Is he actually going to get away from this? Hide himself. Away yeah, the from the for the juke. Yeah. Plasma Field will be able to catch him. That's double gem on the deck. Cloud9 though have lost themselves another racks. Melee rack. Back. He might as well go all in for his items at this point. Side the vice. There was a, another big item. It seems like IG are winning this game purely off the initiation. Oh, I almost got the courier kill oh, through. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right. Fortunately, it didn't have any items, so we're good there. But IG, oh, this could be the final fight right here. Look at Cloud9. They're setting up here in the trees. But if they get caught into a bad fight, we're already leading away. Twenty pieces. They're going to go to support this time. They managed to get out the BKB. Oh, Fodder's right in the middle of everyone with that ultimate. They've locked down Ferrari. They're going to be able to take him out of here. He's down for 100 seconds, but he has three buybacks. Draw trapped to the tree. Rule's going to get out. And Cloud9 are looking for to be able to grab more, but there's no sprout to stop Lua from escaping. And IG can still contest Rojan if they really want to, but it be without Alina, and they force the buyback on Rubik, so it doesn't look like a Cloud9. And then the Aegis expire is fine, but you don't give them a lane of Rats within the next 30 seconds, because then they just go for a second one. Yep. So they're going to try and keep this push back for as long as possible. Quickly blowing up the wave in that tier 3 tower down to 250 HP, but Cloud9 not going uphill just yet. This has been, in the last half a year, one of the problems for Cloud9 has been their inability to go high ground very well. They improved on it, but still, in some games, just showing signs of weakness, being a little bit too hesitant to go or not finding the right initiation angle. Let's see if they can do it this time. They're definitely going to go for it. This is not the spell steal Tron was looking for, by the way. It's like the worst spell he can steal out of any. Absolutely. There goes that two, three tower. IG. They get a four staff back. Slowed down by the lightning, but they'll be good. Eternal Envy on the front lines with the BKB blown. And that's the opportunity IG we're looking for. They're going to blow up Eternal Envy right away. Fun is already low as well. This could be him dying twice. Oh, no. A fuel sucker on a big daddy. He's going to be able to catch him out as well. There goes the ultimate. Fada pops the BKB in time. Hey, can he get anything out of this Octarine Corp? Just not enough. His life stealing so much, but it didn't matter. IG take down two, and Cloud9 may just be feeling some bad memories. Last year, ESL won Frankfurt in the very first round again from the Spirit Breaker 2. So both BKB and Lotus Orb reset, and then they hex him. So they can't even counterplay that one. Really, really big. They're going to go straight for party. Already leading with the side of ice. The force back away. They're going to be able to get off the BKB and the Glimmer Cape. Burning survives. They will be able to get off his host of abilities. We're going to play down to Eternal Heavy. Brings him up. Sonic Wave as well. Double pure damage, baby. That's what we're talking about. Misery comes in. Life sealing up a little bit. Burning trying to take him out. Last couple of right clicks. He did so bad, but he couldn't get it. Burning survives. Bump is now fighting up against three, but he can't afford to die here. He goes down. No buybacks on Envy. No buybacks on Fun. And IG rampaging through Cloud9 one by one. Another core down without buyback. That could be just IG winning the game outright off of a Cloud9 initiation failed. I am shocked that they tried to go for the play up here. There was. I guess IG were surprised by it, but if you don't pull that off perfectly with that charge in, you put yourself in a horrible position. They buy back the Razor, trying to go for that play when they could have made the very same play inside their own base instead. And 
I think this could just be the end of Cloud Nine's run. That was a fight they simply could not afford to lose. Yeah, they're about to fight this three versus five with Bone Seven being their only corrupt. That stands damn near impossible. Cloud Nine gonna have to perform miracles here. There goes the two sets of action left. Will leave the range. Big Daddy already blown up. Double ultimate's being used by him. Burning front low, but Bone Seven gets caught again. He goes down to buy back from Big Daddy. It's not gonna be enough. It's just the two supports fighting for their lives in this tournament. But there's the mega creeps and there. It's the GG, Cloud9, it happens again. Two of the toughest teams going into this tournament, fighting against each other in round one, and Cloud9 managed to come back, push it to a game three, and make it incredibly close, but just can't seal the deal, and IP will now be the Chinese hope pushing forward in ESL1 Frankfurt 2015. And Cloud9 have got to be feeling like they... Th I don't want to say they threw the courier right now. Does he have any of the components? Body comes in. There's already a tombstone laid out, but it's worth it if they can burst down for anybody. It's not quite enough. The soul rip keeps him alive, and he turns around to look at him like... Big Daddy falls in well. Misery's going to come through. Choo-choo. Light strike already. He actually hits Misery, and Bernie's going to survive. He gets away, and Misery falls. Double kill for Ferrari, and a third pickup for the side of IG. Is they Both BKB and Lotus Orbe, and then they hex him, so they can't even counterplay that one. Really, really big. The charge yeah. They're going to go straight for Bernie. Already leading with the side of ice. The force back away. They're going to be able to get off the BKB and the Glimmer Cape. Bernie survives and will be able to get off his host of abilities. We'll go to play down to Eternal Heavy. Brings him along. Side of Wave as well. Double here. Baby, baby. That's what we're talking about. He's reclosing. Light sealing up a little bit. Bernie trying to take him out. Last couple right clicks. He needs so bad, but he can't get it. Bernie survives. Bonus down fighting up against three, but he can't afford to die here. He goes down. No buybacks on.